Hello, 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 and welcome to this tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to add redstone lamps to your item sorter. Adding redstone lamps to your item sorter isn't as generic as normally, because every item sorter has a different height. So what I'm gonna show you is the main circuit, how you do it, and explain the redstone so you can alter it yourself for your own height of your system. These lamps can be added to any item sorter. All we need is a redstone torch and a signal from that. Now to show you how this works, I have prepared a little box with all sorts of planks. And if we put this in the system, it will flow up. And as you can see, the lamp will go on. Now it's sorting that one, now it's sorting that one and so on and so forth. And that's it. That is how the system works. The amount of blocks you need for the system is difficult to tell because the height differs for every system. What we need is solid blocks. You need rats on lamps as much as you want underneath your system. We need redstone dust, we need a bunch of repeaters, and we need a bunch of redstone torches. So these are the basics of what you need. The basics of the system are we need a redstone torch like here. Uh, we need to grab that and transform that into the light. The problem is, if we do that next to each other, I can show you real quick, then the redstone will combine. That means that both lamps will go on. We don't want that. We just want only this lamp. So we need to separate the circuits. Now This circuit comes off of this lamp, goes into here. This lamp now is off. As soon as this starts sorting, this goes off, now this goes on and into the lamp. We can't use this. We could if we do it like this, then it's a separated circuit. Problem with that is the chests will be here and multiple hoppers will be here, so this will get in the way of the hoppers. To prevent that from happening, we need the signal to come from behind here. This torch normally isn't here. If we place one here, then it is exactly the same as this one. As soon as something enters here, the torch will go off. That means that if we transport this down, if this torch goes off, this one goes on and it will power the lamp. Now these two circuits are completely isolated from each other and that is what we need. Now for this sorting system that is designed by Silent Whisperer, we can do exactly the same. We take the signal from this torch into that lamp and this torch we're gonna leave. Instead we place one extra block behind here, add a torch, and if this torch goes off, then that lamp there goes on. That makes essentially the same system as there. So this is the basic circuit. I will show you how to build this one. With one block higher, let's remove these blocks. Right underneath this torch, we're gonna place a temporary block beneath that, another block. Remove the temporary block and place redstone dust on this one. Now this torch go powers this redstone. Let's place another block here. And we always need to put a block in front of the lamp. 
if we don't do that the lamp will power, power both so we just want to power this one and if we put a torch here that torch will go off then we can put redstone here repeater into this block now this block will power this one and not that lamp we can test that by removing this as you can see that, that turns on and that stays off now we need to make a separate circuit for this one we're going to do that one lower we're going to place the circuit down there we are going to power this block so the repeater goes into there but if we do this as you can see this will link up what will happen if we do that both lamps go on so we need to isolate this part as you can see now just this lamp goes, goes on from here we need to go to the back let's place a torch on this end go two blocks down sorry one block down place redstone dust on there place another torch redstone dust, dust beneath that and now we need to connect these two Let's this should connect nicely. Now if we do don't use this torch, but do it like this, that is possible as well. We remove the torch and we do that. The problem with this is now the lamp will always stay on. So you will need to invert the signal somewhere. That can be done on this one. That one goes off. So you need to invert it. Uh, I prefer to do it on this height. Like that and now if there is something that will go in there this light will this torch will turn off that light will turn on so that is the basic system if we go too higher we can do the same place a block temporary block block underneath there redstone dust on this torch on this side we're gonna go that way because if we go this way then we get in the way of the hoppers again so we're gonna go this way again a block beneath it redstone dust so the signal now travels from there to there to there and we can make a circuit here we need to go into that block like that and that is powered same goes for this side we want to go into that block And again, this will connect. We will circumvent that by placing a block here. Let's make sure that cuts the line across, so the line only goes this way. You can use any solid block for that. And 
and again from this end torch on the end block beneath redstone dust torch block block and now we either go stepways with the redstone or we do one extra and as you can see now we got the lamp will be powered now because this is on so if we do this then we also again need to invert the signal so the lamp stays off. Now, if something enters the hopper, the light will go on. So keep in mind, you always need to invert the signal. So this is not powered if there's nothing in there. If we take a look at the system from Silent Whisperer, and we do it like this, We're gonna leave that one for now. Just I'm um, just gonna show you this one, and take this signal down. As you can see, the signal stays on. So we could, oh, we could do this, then the signal will be off. But and now there is a problem if we add this so the hopper will be full like this then this torch will go off and the lamp will go on that is why we need to extend the signal one block As you can see now this stays on. If we put in some extra wrenches, you can see this will turn off. Once it flows through, it will turn on again. There we go. That is why we need to extend this one this signal one bit. Doesn't need to happen on this side because this torch will already go on off once, uh, once something enters the system. So the basics again, to get from the top to the bottom, we need the torch that is on to go down to a torch that is off. We always need to invert the signal so it is off. So even if you are this high, it still applies. We need to go from this torch to a torch that is off and going down. So no matter how high your system is, you always need to end up with the inverted signal so the torch is off. As you can see like this. As some extra information that these blocks that will go into the lamp can be any solid block, doesn't matter which block you use. So that would mean that you can use, like I used here, you can use the lamps, the fungus lamps like this. Now the placing of these redstone lamps are designed with the chest in mind that they will be in front of the chest we can place them anywhere that doesn't matter we can all place them one block back if we do this we just need to sort a circuit let's remove these and put the redstone lamps here all we need to 
make sure is we need underneath this circuit one block with a repeater going in it and this circuit we need a block in front of it with a repeater in it going into it and now this will work exactly the same that will go on and the same for this one this one that will go on so even if you want to put the lamp somewhere there it doesn't matter just make sure that both circuits are separate from each other and to get into the lamps you need to go into a solid block and underneath here into a solid block and that would mean that if you do multiple next to each other we're gonna get something like this this will go into you this will go into there Repeater, repeater, redstone, redstone. And of course we're lacking a, a lamp here, so this would be like so. So the system will look like that and so you will always have an A circuit and a B circuit and that will continue on. That is it and that will work for any system. If we have another system unlike one of these two, just make sure that once you put a redstone torch here and there will, there will be something in the hopper, that this torch will go out. If it doesn't go out, you probably need to extend the circuit one or two blocks. Usually one block will work, but just check that. And that way you could put a redstone lamp on any item sorter you have. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye.